because another month passed already. It's it's time to do another budget plan. Are you kidding me? Didn't I just do one of those last week? Hey guys, I am Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel on this channel, we are paying off $300,000 worth of debt. On this channel, we get real about finances all the time. Real life, real money. No joke. So if you are interested in following my husband Mauricio and I along on our journey, then we would love to have you click that big old red subscribe button down below. So what do we have planned for the month of May? Is it already May? Where is this year going? The next thing I know, Melina is going to be heading off to college. Hopefully I will have enough money saved by then. If I don't get out of debt soon, I am not going to be anywhere close to that. Let's jump into the May budget. In our utilities category, we have our cell phones and our storage unit and our cell phones are $193.25 and our storage unit is $270. And, and if you don't know why we have a storage unit, this is not my stuff. This is my mother's stuff. We live in my parents' house and everything we own is in a storage unit. But we won't sell it. If you want to know why we won't sell it, click I thingy sky thingy. We're going to be needing it soon. I am quite sure it's going to be like Christmas when we open all of our stuff. Hopefully it won't all be ruined from sitting in a storage unit for three years. <laughs> a little nervous about that. And in our transportation category, we have... $100 for gas because gas is getting crazy expensive. I mean like crazy expensive again. I'm kind of annoyed by it. We have $70 for the Easy Pass, which is our local toll road system. And this month we have $45 for an oil change. I know I've showed you my spreadsheet that I have tracking everything. In that spreadsheet, I actually have oil changes listed out at three month intervals and it is time for an oil change. That way I never forget it. So I put that in this month. I am pretty proud of myself because this is, I think the first time I've put it in without being told by Mauricio that we need to do an oil change on the car. In the Molina category, we have our usual $590 for before and after care. Then we have $40 for school bucks for Molina and school bucks are Molina's lunches. And she normally takes her lunch to school every day but sometimes she gets extra hungry and so there is money available and then on Fridays we let her buy lunch at school. But don't tell her there's a lot of money because I'm pretty sure she'd buy a cookie every day at lunch if we would let her. The next thing we have is $25 for miscellaneous school expenses and that is just for random things that come up. The last thing you're gonna see in here is $200 for new summer clothes. I don't know how much she is going to need right now but she is definitely going to need summer clothes because she went from a size 6 to she's in a 910 now this year and so definitely none of her summer clothes from last summer will fit and in insurance and tax we have USAA which is our renters and car insurance policies and that is 169 a month but it doesn't come through every dollar because it goes directly from my paycheck but I like to keep track of it as an expense so I know down the road if we switch the way we're paying it that that is an expense that we have to deal with. And my life insurance is done in that same way. We also have $12 for CMFG insurance, which may be going away very soon. I am super excited to get rid of this $12. When we got our biggest loan, I signed up for this insurance thinking it was a great idea and it wasn't. I don't know what I was thinking. And then our last thing is $35.83, which is Mauricio's life insurance policy. In the Wendy and Mauricio category, we have zip because these categories typically are done as the month goes along. Not always. Sometimes we put stuff in ahead of time, but for the most part, it's stuff that comes up during the month. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Now, you all know that we don't talk about our giving category on this channel. But I wanted to remind you for yourself 
that this month is probably a teacher appreciation week for you. It is here in the United States in May. So don't forget to appreciate your teacher. So we have that in there. And then we also have Mother's Day. So don't forget those two things, very important. And then our cash category is the same amount of money as it always is, except this month I will not be putting in any money for dry cleaning because I just did all the dry cleaning last month. So we will have 260 for groceries, 200 for blow money, 25 for Mauricio's haircut, $20 for Sally Beauty, and $100 for family outings. And I will be doing a cash envelope video probably in two weeks. And in that video, I will be stuffing those cash envelopes and you will see exactly what we decide and if any changes come up, you'll see that then. Then in recurring expenses, we have 3097 for iTunes, which encompasses Netflix, the cloud and Apple Music. I always forget one I, and it's never the same one. Then we have $44.95 for Weight Watchers, $14.95 for Audible, $25 for Skype, and $3.99 for Amazon Music. And in my YouTube category, I have $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $3.43 for Morning Fame, and $19.95 for a YouTube group I belong to. And in medical, I'm starting to get ahead on this medical thing and I am starting to budget for medical. We've got $100 for my eye drops because I'm gonna get them and they cost almost $100, so let's put it in the budget every month. And then we have $350 bill for our, my, our neck injections. Yes, because Mauricio and I share one collective neck. For my neck injections, I have $350 bill I actually haven't gotten the bill as of filming this, but I know it's gonna be coming, so I might as well go ahead and be ready for it. In work expenses, we have $22 for parking for Mauricio. We've been very lucky over the last few months that we haven't had to use that, but it'll be coming, it'll happen soon. And our sinking funds, we have 150 for medical, 100 for car repair and replace, 100 for Christmas, $50 for an emergency trip to Columbia, $25 for miscellaneous school expenses for Melina, $100 for summer camp, $100 for work travel expenses, and $100 for our 10th anniversary. I'll be doing a sinking funds video coming up where I talk about my sinking funds in detail. In our online spending category, we have our $100 for Amazon. And in our cushion category, we have $100 for things that we don't know will come up. And there is always great debate as to whether you should have a cushion category or not. And I am a firm believer in the cushion category. And then we will be putting $7,119.19 to debt this month. Woo woo, over $7,000. Any amount over $7,000 is a super win for us because our goal is between six and $7,000 a month. And next Monday, I'll be updating you with how much we have put to debt this month and where we are at our debt snowballs. And every dollar tells me it's a zero-based budget, so, so I'll see you in the next one. See ya!